I'm with the next British Cruiserweight Champion, Matthew Askins here, little sod. Last time I had him, well, had him, as in chatting to him, was at his gym in Blackpool, and since then, still uh, doing well in your career. Um, the tiles changed hands, and Shane Matt Philpin's now got his bit weak, that Cruiserweight division, so when you're going to make your move, Mike? Well, it uh, looks like I've got this fight uh, tomorrow night, then I've got the Dickinson fight in April. Down the eliminator. That's the yeah, the official eliminator, and then I'll be made mandatory then to fight whoever's got it. But it looks like that uh, Tony Conquest is going to fight McPhilbin first, so it'll probably change hands again before I get to it. But it makes no difference. When I get it, I'll be keeping it. Yeah, I mean it is. It's lucky for you because it's not the best division at the minute, is it, Cruiserweight? It's hard to get fights and that because you're having to box for us and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's like you say, it's not the best division, but. I just, it winds me up a bit when you see the title just getting passed around and passed around and I have to go through these eliminators to get to it. But, um, you know, my time, like I say, my time will come and I'll end up keeping it for good. Yeah. And, and it, I mean, I bet you, you wish the fight tomorrow night was with Shane McPhilpin, don't you? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I watched the fight and fair play to him, you know, he showed a lot of heart, a lot of grit. But I just think I'd have too much for him. And like, he didn't win a round, though, did he? He didn't win, no, not one round. And I think he was, in a couple of rounds, he was minus two two as well so it's uh well like i say fair play to him be coming back and he beat him but he won't be keeping it for long do you think he'll beat conquest no i, I, I don't know you know he's shown a lot of grit and determination against a big puncher like williams so you know could he have it in the locker again to do it to conquest but i just think conquest would have too much for him yeah, he's a good little box conquest isn't he but you can never write shane off because of his art and determination well, that's, uh, that's it it's, uh, it's a good fight though a good fight but i just can't wait to get the winner be good. Who've you got tomorrow? Um, Attila, Attila Palko from uh, Hungary. Glad you said that, man, mate. <laughs> a bit of a tongue twister, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, he's a good kid. He's had 13, 112, and 10 by stoppage. So it's a, it's a good little learning fight for me tomorrow night. Is well, it an eight rounder? Six round. uh, a six rounder, yeah. Just a warm up for the uh, Dickinson fight. But, you know, get a good win in tomorrow and push on. And um, where's the Dickinson fight going to be? It's in Liverpool. We've got the papers through this morning, but I don't, I don't, I didn't really scan through the venue and that. But I've got, a, like I say, I've got another date, so straight after this fight, back in the gym. Brilliant, though, and you're going the right way about it, getting the eliminator. So when you finally do get your hands on the title, you know that you've earned it the right way. Well, that's it. Yeah, I know it's been a bit of a pain in the arse for us, like, because we know that we can get it straight away. But you know, at least I've got a good fight against Tickets, and it'll prove that uh, you know I am the best in the country. And hopefully, you'll be able to keep it for a bit longer. I will definitely keep it. Okay, from the Reebok Centre or wherever I am, is this where Bolton play? Yeah. Is it? Not in this room, but like in this, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, listen, I wish you all the best, mate. Home Blackpool lad, get supporting him, who is now on Twitter, and he drives you mad on Twitter, but he is funny. In a bit. Thank you.